What did 60 Minutes say about UFOs that has everyone talking? Find out next on The Edge. my fellow connoisseurs of all things strange and mysterious. I'm J. Jordan Hawk, and you're watching On The Edge. Wow, mainstream news was a buzz about UFOs last week. I could barely keep up with all the news, and I do this for a living. 60 Minutes, it turns out, started the buzz, as it has now officially joined the crowd of mainstream news outlets to come out of the closet on the subject of UFOs. In a roughly 15-minute piece on Sunday, May 16th, they managed to treat the topic seriously, without once giggling, referencing the X-Files, or even inviting professional debunkers like Mick West to dismiss Navy UFO sightings as birds and jet glare. Instead, they actually interviewed former intelligence officials and Navy pilots. They opened their piece acknowledging the strangeness of the story they were about to do. CBS correspondent Bill Whitaker did the interviews, and his opening set a surprisingly serious tone. Whitaker said, we have tackled many strange stories on 60 Minutes, but perhaps none like this. It's the story of the U.S. government's grudging acknowledgement of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, more commonly known as UFOs. After decades of public denial, the Pentagon now admits there is something out there, and the U.S. Senate wants to know what it is. Yes, Whitaker managed to make it through that opening without so much as a giggle, but soon he can no longer restrain himself. In an interview with his first guest, Lou Elizondo, former director of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, or ATIP, within the Pentagon, Whitaker said, So, what you are telling me is that UFOs, unidentified flying objects, are real? Lou Elizondo was ready for that softball. Elizondo answered, Bill, I think we're beyond that already. The government has already stated for the record that they're real. I'm not telling you that. The United States government is telling you that. Elizondo went on to discuss his ATIP program, whose job was to collect and analyze UFOs for the Defense Department. Whitaker couldn't resist interrupting. He said to Elizondo, You know how this sounds. It sounds nutty, wacky. Elizondo expertly handled that quip with, Look, Bill, I'm not, I'm not telling you that, that it doesn't sound wacky. What I'm telling you, it's real. The question is, what is it? What are its intentions? What are its capabilities? I think the phrase, I'm not telling you that it doesn't sound wacky, what I'm telling you is it's real, should be the official motto of my channel from this point on. Thank you very much, Lou Elizondo. Elizondo went on to explain, Imagine a technology that can do six to 700 G-forces, that can fly at 13,000 miles an hour, that can evade radar, and that can fly through air and water and possibly space. And oh, by the way, has no obvious signs of propulsion, no wings, no control surfaces, and yet still can defy the natural effects of Earth's gravity. That's precisely what we're seeing. Whitaker quickly moved on to the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence for both Presidents Clinton and George W. Bush, no doubt hoping to add some semblance of normalcy to this program. Perhaps Whitaker was hoping that Mellon could reassure their listeners that we are just dealing with experimental technology. Unfortunately for Bill Whitaker, Mellon instead said that UFOs are not secret U.S. government technology. Mellon said, so it's not us. That's one thing we know. Bill Whitaker immediately jumped in. We know that? And Mellon replied, I can say that with a high degree of confidence in part because of the positions I held in the department. Whitaker then moved on to witness testimony from two Navy pilots, David Fravor and Lieutenant Alex Dietrich. Both witnessed the so-called Nimitz UFO videos taken back in 2004. By this time, Whitaker seemed to be taking things a bit more seriously. He asked quizzically, From what I hear you guys saying, there's something. David Fravor replied, Oh, there's, there's definitely something that I don't know who's building it, who's got the technology, who's got the brains, but there's, there's something out there that was better than our airplane. Congratulations to 60 Minutes for taking the subject seriously and not giving precious air time to those reality-denying debunkers like Mick West. I mean, that's my job. The 60-minute piece has already done some good. The piece prompted other politicians to come out of the closet on UFOs. TMZ caught up with Senator Martin Heinrich, who sits on the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, and asked him what he thought of UFOs. Heinrich replied, 
I think we need to get to the bottom of it. It's pretty intriguing. I don't know what it is, but anytime you have legitimate pilots describing something that doesn't seem to conform to the laws of physics that govern aviation and is in U.S. airspace, I think it's something we need to get to the bottom of. He then addressed the notion that these UFOs were simply misunderstood foreign technology. If there was a foreign government that had these kinds of capabilities, I think we would see other indications of advanced technology. I can't imagine that what has been described or shown in some of the videos is of belongs to any government that I'm aware of. I'm not really a betting man, but the way these things operate, you know they certainly, you wouldn't want a human being or any living creature in something that moves that fast and changes direction that quickly. So like I said, I have no idea what it is, but I think we should figure it out. Friend of this show, Mick West, former video game programmer turned professional debunker, didn't like the 60 Minutes piece very much. In an extended article for Skeptic Magazine, he called it, quote, a recap of the curious events of the last four years, a disappointing recap at that. He went on to say, I do not have great expectations for the story going away, but I wish that someone high up will eventually say enough is enough and explain exactly what is going on, what these videos show, and what the military really thinks about UFOs. Hmm, someone high up, you say? Perhaps we need former President Barack Obama to chime in on UFOs. Apparently, the 60 Minutes piece convinced him to take the matter seriously. When he was on Late Night with James Corden, the topic turned to aliens, and Obama was asked what he knows. After making a requisite Roswell joke, Mr. Obama suddenly got serious and said the following. What is true, and I'm actually being serious here, is that there is footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain how they move, their trajectory, they did not have an easily explainable pattern, and so I think that people still take seriously trying to investigate and figure out what that is. Well, Mick West, there is your someone high up. Barack Obama has just come out of the closet about UFOs. And not to be outdone by his old boss, Joe Biden had something to add to the topic as well. He was asked at a news conference what he thought about the fact that Barack Obama just came out of the UFO closet. A news reporter asked of Biden, President Obama says there is footage and records of objects in the sky, these unidentified aerial phenomena, and he says we don't know exactly what they are. What do you think? Looking awkward and embarrassed, Biden replied, I would ask him again, and then quickly walked off stage. Hmm, okay. I offered Obama, and Mick raised me a Biden. Fair enough, Mr. West, I'll let you have that, but I'm still anxiously awaiting the Pentagon's upcoming UFO report. There is still time for Biden to become a friend of this show. In fact, we're all friends on this show, believers and skeptics alike. But damn you, Joe. That's our story for today, everyone. I'm Jay Jordan Hawk. See you next time on The Edge. And if you like my content, be sure to check out my award-winning young adult novels, including Puka is the Outcast, A Scout is Brave, and Unwatchagi the Dreamer.